Hello to everybody in the wonderful Dynamics 365 community and everybody in D365 champs. This is Dynamics Power Mantra 4 or D365 Power Mantra 4th edition. So in this edition we are going to talk about how to build the Microsoft community and how we are doing it in Hong Kong. And this is a conversation with Letty who is the business group head in Microsoft Hong Kong. So let's get into a conversation with her. Good morning to you Letty. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. Um, I'm good. Uh, thanks for your time as well. I know you are traveling and uh, for your dedication and commitment towards the community. So we are going to now discuss today about uh, uh, how to set uh, how to set up the community and how the jam meetups would be set up and how it's going to be useful in terms of the local Hong Kong uh, partners as well as customers. So before I go into that, can you give you a small introduction lady? Yeah, sure, no problem. So hi, everybody. I'm the business group lead for Dynamics 365 and Power Platform in Hong Kong. Uh, it's very exciting for me to set up the first uh, D365 Champs event coming up in October. So and it's also great to see the, all the support coming from the overseas community. I never thought it would be uh, it's so much of the support that I'm, I'm having online from, from everywhere I can see. Right, so uh, I have something to add there, Letty. That video was really inspiring. It even inspired me all over again. So thanks for doing that. It, and thanks for all the support that you're doing. Even the other calls and the planning that you have put in place. Uh, I already talked about the shirt. You know, your local partners and customers are wanting it. And uh, I have got some people asking me how to get that design in. So it is really exciting yeah. apart from all the useful things that will come in with the D365 and Power Platform Champs Meetup. So thanks for from your side also. And that's why you are just getting uh, getting uh, a lot of uh, support from the community back. That's how it works. Thanks for yeah, that. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, so before we get into the talk about community and other stuff, can you let me know how does a typical day for Letty as a business group head look inside Microsoft Hong Kong? Yeah, sure. So um, the Dynamics uh, virtual team across the uh, business group, partner and the sellers in Microsoft internally, it's, it's quite small. So we're a very tight team. Uh, most of our days are consumed by internal meetings or planning uh, the next marketing events for Dynamics. Or, uh, but I also try to fill my schedule by meeting with customers and partners because I think that's a very important element uh, for me to get insights on How's my product doing? How's the perception in the market? What do we need to improve? So I enjoy a lot meeting uh, external parties uh, during my day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also, it's also absolutely amazing to watch partners doing all these demos in customer meetings because that's the real juice of, of our product and seeing it actually work or, or hearing feedback from our customers, applying it in real applications. Um, I think that's the most exciting part of my day. Awesome. So really the product has come really long way in the 10 years I have been with the product and I, I can totally relate to what you're talking about demos. I love them as well. So it is great to know that a lot of your days spent doing and uh, figuring out and seeing the uh, implementations or the, the demonstration that different partners are doing to different kinds of customers and different kinds of industries and solutions uh, for real life problems. And that's what exactly we want to do in the D365 Cham meetups as well. So yes. that's why it, that, that's where you people can come in in Hong Kong and monthly do that stuff as well. So isn't that exciting? Yes, um, our objective of setting this platform up. It's uh, uh, hopefully after the first event, um, I'll, I'll start seeing a list of topics, a wish list that our customers want to see and our partners want to deliver. Um, I think that's uh, the kind of vision I have for this community. So exactly what you're saying. Right. So I'll tell you what happened a bit with the champs when it started. It, it incubated in Singapore, but eventually when we did things in other parts of Asia, we started sharing a lot of these ideas and yeah, most of the, there are a lot of problems which can be localized and you, know, you can always reach out to each other. So that's also another advantage of doing the meetup. So I, I will definitely hope that this is the way the Hong Kong champs meetup will also grow, right? Now, yeah. next thing, yeah, next thing about what are your thoughts about digital transformation using the wonderful Dynamics 365 and Power Platform? 
I think the concept of breaking data saddles is very core in, in our product and platform because uh, that's what we actually build up for upon the common data platform and we're trying to um, help customers to transform and innovate very quickly by adopting Power Apps. So, um, uh, and I think uh, we're helping customers to reimagine their business process and with all these new AI capabilities that we're adding in, we're not trying to get them to adopt very complicated technology while it's actually uh, very much infused in, in whatever applications that they're using from the CRM to marketing. So it's very, very exciting um, to see when customers um, are already built up on the platform and by plugging a button um, easily, they can adopt new features. So uh, that's my think about um, a digital transformation. It has to be easy, it has to be uh, innovative, um, um, very quick to be adopted. I totally agree with all the points, so I will not have anything to add. You have just covered everything. And how do you think a community or a user group is important to something like business applications and power platform? So I've always been taught that this is a very complex um, area um, uh, and for business applications, because if we go into each customer, they have their own practices, own legacies. Um, it's not every much the same. So I think setting up a community can really encourage that uh, exchange and that interaction needed uh, among customers and partners. In fact, um, last year we tried a mini version of this. We got 10 of our most important customers sitting together talking about customer success. And while they were sharing the experience, one of the customers was actually sharing how fast they have adopted CRM and the other one was very, very much amazed. And at the end of the event, you can see them exchanging name cards and talking about, hey, how did you do that? So. So that uh, uh, scenario really inspired me and think that we really need to get our customers together and, and promote this healthy exchange because um, they've seen what worked and what's not worked for their own self. And I'm sure they yeah. want to uh, learn from each other as well. So that's uh, how important it is, I think, uh, to set up a community here in Hong Kong. Right. So just a small thing to add, like, in my experience as well, you know, whenever a business adopts a product from a space such as Dynamics 365, everybody has their way of doing business. For example, yeah. sales. Every 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 customer or every company, every department have even within a company there might be departments which might be doing it in a totally different way. So when they sit together, that's also one impact of doing community a user group where you have a larger set of audience and you can discuss those generic. Uh, uh, solutions, right? How somebody else tried to solve that problem or how might be something which we are not looking into the product, but somebody else has utilized. So that has always been some good wow factors that come out of a user group or community, right? So yeah. I, I completely I completely second to what you're saying there. Continue on to our last conversation. How can end customers specifically benefit? I know you did uh, already share that, but still mm -hmm. if I'm an end customer, how will I benefit if I join the Hong Kong user group? Yeah, I think uh, talking into greater details, I expect customers um, can really get the latest updates from, from both of us and from our partners because in the past we only rely on maybe Microsoft blogs or some social videos and then customer events, which may happen here and there. And customers right. will not be able to get every, every single invitation of it. So. By setting up a platform like that, first of all, we want them to really get a, a one single uh, channel for them to ask questions. Um, um, and then for us as well, we also learn what's the top of their mind and what can we plan for the rest. Yeah, so setting up that communication, I guess that's the most core benefit of the platform. And of course, there are goodies, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this t-shirt, right? I'll be getting this out if, if anybody right. wants to use up for top bag next or whatever. So we're still thinking about how do we give up, uh, give out the goodies, but I'm sure there they are. <laughs> At some stage, I will demand my t-shirt to be shipped to India as well. <laughs> it's coming, it's and, coming. <laughs> yeah, or I will come there to collect it. Thank you. Anyways, uh, how do you think the uh, collaborative Microsoft Cloud offerings benefit customers in Hong Kong specifically and Asia? Yeah, um, I think I, especially in this time, uh, we talk about business continuity a lot. Um, 
because under this very uncertain um, situation across uh, Hong Kong and APAC, I think uh, getting customers onto cloud is very important because first of all, it allows them to be agile, to be flexible, um, mm -hmm. and uh, it allows them to save costs and look into the new uh, capabilities of functions that they're able to adopt next without developing on them by themselves. So I think uh, we've seen a lot of successful customers being um, uh, fully adopted on three clouds and they're generating so much um, synergies across it. So uh, we really embrace that. We encourage customers to think about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's how eventually will benefit into customers in terms of their ROI and uh, just the one, one single platform again, yeah. Again, one one single platform. That's the main thing. So, and what what can a Microsoft partner expect when they come into this user group? Because a lot of those Microsoft yeah. partners will come up as well. So, what can you, what can they expect when they come into the Champs meter? Well, I think um, one very element that I've learned from uh, Singapore across different user groups is that we're really focusing on the technical part. Um, even though everybody has their own identity coming as a customer partner, or even some of them, it's blurred between mm -hmm. both. Um, I think uh, what we want to encourage is really talking about best practices in the product, and and people are not coming here into selling or being sold. Um, partners can best utilize this platform again to to really demonstrate their capability and uh, to share the latest uh, view. On, on the product um, and just to network. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that is also another side effect. So I'll, I'll tell you two incidents from all the user groups I've done across from Europe now over to Asia and uh, some of them even in North America. So one more thing that happens is recently, like just two days back, uh, I did a video on how to build your power control framework, like a PCF, actual PCF, right? So that's kind of a free learning. So when I go into a user group, I can learn that. Lately, what started to happen over the course of two or three meet, uh, champ meetups is we started taking an actual real world problem or a business problem, then mm -hmm. apply technology and then also learn it technically. So there is something in there for everybody, no matter whether I am only a business analyst or I'm a technical consultant, maybe I'm an architect or a project manager, but eventually there started to be something for everybody there as a partner as well. And second thing is networking. Yes, you always you you already took that point. You, a lot of uh, all kinds of people, including partners, senior folks. Sometimes we have seen compete uh, companies mm. coming in, and you you try to understand from all perspectives. So that is quite good uh, in, uh, in in as a partner. Last question for from my end, and then uh, we're yeah. done. <laughs> so. Yeah. Can you can you share your wishes as well as expectations from D365 champs? Well, I have a lot of expectations, but um, first of all, I hope that I will be a successful event. Everybody feel happy when they leave. Uh, second of all, I hope this is just the beginning. And uh, even though the first time, uh, I think Microsoft team it's, it's pulling a lot of efforts into it. Eventually, I hope that um, uh, both the uh, customers and partners are excited about this initiative and then they will start doing their their um, own wish list and submitting topics and that eventually taking lead from us uh, for the next events or so or even have the regular meetups because uh, I think um, the community the sense of community is very important it's just not about being Microsoft led because we also do a lot of events out there already um, hopefully we can do something that really represents the voice of users uh, and uh, it's something that's very organic and people very passionate about doing it. Um, we don't have uh, a community of MVPs here in Hong Kong so far, um, or they're invisible to us right now, but I hope that through this call and through this initiative, uh, we're able to get them out and um, uh, start a very vigorous community on itself. Okay, so uh yeah, you will get all sorts of support from Chance definitely. So you're, uh, we'll hope that uh, we are able to help find kind of partners and customers and professionals in there who can help out eventually. 
I know Microsoft does a lot of events uh, themselves, and there is a big calendar of that as well. And the way uh, Microsoft Hong Kong and Uleti are coming forward to support this is great. I also wish that it grows, and uh, definitely all the other four or five meetup places. I think in terms of countries, there are eight or nine now. I don't remember exactly, but everybody connects mm. together, just like the other places. And at some point, I do travel along with other uh, folks there. Coming talking about MVPs, yes, definitely the overall across Asia there are there is a need to have a lot more MVPs in business application space. I completely agree to that thought, and uh, hopefully by doing this kinds of different community activities and user groups and sharing our blogs together, we are able to get more MVPs from each uh, uh, sub, uh, subsidiary as well as uh, they they contribute to this effort. So I've been there for half a decade now, and yeah, it's like it, it will be great to see a lot more MVPs come up in this region as well. And last thing, yes, it's always a good place to network and connect. So I wish everybody that they come in and make the first meetup and subsequent uh, Chan meetups in Microsoft Hong Kong a huge success. We definitely have discussed a lot more plans. There are a lot more exciting stuff, folks, and you should help Letty Microsoft Hong Kong totally to make it a grand success. And of course, there are goodies. <laughs> yes, so uh, I'll let you know how it goes after October 9th. Um, I'm very, very excited about it. And everybody at Champs is excited, including me. Thanks for your time, Letty. And uh, this is going to be the Dynamics Power Mantra for this week as well. That's the surprise I didn't share with you. So okay. this is going to be so this is a series that I've been running and been doing different kinds of videos. The fun, first one was done from a paddy field. Second was actually a formal one where we talked about UCI. Third one was where we learned how to make a PCF. Fourth one is a small uh, conversation with you and hopefully this will help the Hong Kong chapter or Hong Kong meetup for champs and we'll keep uh, interacting like this and uh, hope uh, the fine uh, hope that this will really help gather more people at the champs meetup thank you thank you i'm very honored thanks thank you same here Hi everyone, we stress a lot about customer success and a couple weeks ago we announced the launch of the first Dynamics 365 user group. It will actually happen on Wednesday, October 9th, 6.30 at Lee Gardens. So whether you're new to Dynamics 365, Power Platform, or you're actually an experienced user, we'll all welcome you to join us for a great launch party and network. Looking forward to seeing you there.